Hami in the Mule. In Jelang Ark, for in Jelang Kriya nach Monia and Sane. Shit na fakkel, ek tool mag faal, en baart boelag. Man jy lang van in de roekekes de hokeke. Ha mis nis tjeen, kutting en meg. Tje ha aagmoor, mo e lang moele. Tje moele en tje lang is mo en man er geil. Ek ha oor het reaarang. Ach, en jy weet ek, ha gehaak al enge man, ach, en vri wale. Si ma doen jy klonje a haas de kritsing, ken jy palle mori en deng jy kaart ar toe per wole. Ket ek leanach en woon al runnig en film ek ma jering. Das hen jy men en juus doog en na piesie plam jy mis hooli, han de hylland en maare a ha en jy tachig en men hulie geroeren en men glen sjeelste. Sa mis to so as vech vech my ad. She sings St. John's word. I crack her and make her son my stucker of dinging. I guess herself he'll he's a shing don't got him. What the crack or she made her on the ears. I guess him will she feel on the hill. I have cast in the hood of deck and chuck in a piece of big meaning. Her tormental shing. Her bird's foot trefoil is show. Eye bright, how is she? Her more than she's in chuck in a piece of big meaning. Fem en mehul, mehul ek er hoem alle mecher en rutten hele. Ha my volle van gunje gegrie Davy Sexton, of ek er een RSPB aan de moele. Ha ek jou net vallig jylder en woele en groeg ek en se blie aan de Davyle. So now we're up to about 80 to 90 pairs actually nesting in the whole of the west coast of Scotland. The, the, the overall project um, aim is about 200 pairs. I mean, that's, oh, what, I that's what would have been across the whole of Scotland. Originally. And once, you know, they were the commonest eagle throughout Britain. They, they were nested, they really? I didn't yeah, know that. They nested from the Isle of Wight right to Shetland. Very adaptable, oh, and they, would, they were scavenge, scavenging on the battlefield often. You know, they'll, they'll scavenge wherever they can. And um, so there's a huge, long history, and that Must persecution... It's quite difficult for them, as we're not having many battlefields now, wasn't it? No. <laughs> they, um, <laughs> they do all right, though, because they're back finding all their, the natural prey that they would have done, yes. and I think that's a lot of the reason they came to Mull from, from Ram and Skye and the Western Isles. We've got hares and rabbits and seabirds and fish, and it's such a huge range. And seals, you know, dead seals De that get yes. washed up, they'll come and feed on those. Um, dead deer and sheep in the hill yeah. and all yeah. this sort of thing. So there's a lot of food for them. When we arrived here, yeah. we saw, you think it's her ladyship I'm sitting up there. Pretty sure, I'll just check again, but yeah, she's still there. I think that's the female, if you have a look through there. Oh, yes. Yes, she looks as though she's on spotlit. I know, she's got yes. that fantastic so pale. pale head. Yes, They're, they're yes. really closely related to bald eagles in North America. Oh, are they? They're, like, really close cousins. Oh, I see. Um, and although the bald eagle's head is pure white... Hers is a sort of it's a, blonde. It's a blonde. Ash I like blonde. that. Yes. yes. And, and that extends sort of down the front and a bit down the back. And then they've got that gleaming white tail. Yes. But they only get that when they're five years old. Oh, do they? Yeah. I see. So sometimes one might see them and not realise, just thinking that they're a golden eagle. Absolutely, that happens a lot because the chick now, when it fledges, is all brown, a uniform brown so colour. So it could be anything to and be it, uninitiated yes. from a buzzard. You to see a... a big dark brown eagle and you think yeah. golden, but yeah. it's quite likely to be a young sea eagle. Yeah. And then over the next three or four years, Again. through molting, they start to get more mottled and eventually this, this adult it's... plumage breaks through. Yes. A lot of people say sea eagles were put here in mm. Mull, but that isn't actually true. From what you've said, they were put in Rum. That's right. Rum was the original release site, yeah. and they've now dispersed and chosen places like Mull and Skye and the Western Isles, yes. uh, and because of the habitat and the prey that's available. They're still on Rum as well, but, but the, this is that the was thing. the place of release. But what about the lamb controversy mm. with the yeah. farmers and things mm -hmm. like that? It, 
do the farmers have some justice on their side? Yes. You know. Yes, they do. E both species of eagle in Scotland will take lambs. Yeah. Some of them are sick and uh, not well. Others are healthy and viable. You know, and that's often the debate: is how you decide when an eagle brings in a lamb, has it killed it? Was it sick or healthy? Yeah. Um, did it pick it up as a, as a stillborn lamb? Yes. There's so many questions, um, and it's very difficult to get to the, to the, bottom, the bottom of that. Yeah. But all the studies that have been done, and there's been at least three now, two really intensive studies, published and peer-reviewed papers, show that they take very few live lambs, that the right. majority of them are scavenged. scavenged and yes. it's the other predators, it's the hooded crows and so on, and the, some of the, the black and the ravens, gulls. Well, that, yes, those three are really the worst, aren't they? They often start the process, yeah. um, and an eagle will then come in and scavenge, and, it often, yeah. and then it gets seen and, and course, blamed. Of it's bigger. And and, and, uh, but, you know, having said all that, that, there will be some farmers who are affected by eagles. Yeah. And, you know, they are putting up with a, a large predator on their land. Yes. It's, it's a bird that's been absent for a hundred years and suddenly yes. it's back with us. Many people welcome it, some people don't. And right. I think those who are, are tolerating and hosting these eagles on their land should be rewarded in some way to, yeah. of, of, of having them there, allowing visitors and others to come and see them. And so there is a, a management scheme that farmers oh, can it? apply to that Scottish Natural Heritage run. Yeah. Well, I, th I really feel very privileged to have seen it. It would have been nice to have seen something soaring around, but if we keep our eyes open before we she leave... She might. Once, often, if this blows through and the cloud lifts, they need to dry off, and she, she, she might go for a fly-around, so fingers yeah, crossed. Fingers crossed we've got time to wait for that. I'm a full of a mech Gustafa, a gusel noa vien, at the grand hill stout nach a lem, shen skeleton, yoldes kreke, kjol, a gusfiag vechen. And skipper Ian Morriston, if we talk about tourist, make us now for the new Kia Jake three fifty to three Jake. I can sort of move a hedge and stay short. Will you hear his mother? I miss your mother. Rukushu me on the mother, I guess, while we put a well, but when Taya come on the mother for you. Uh -huh. I guess I guess I Sweet or melodious. 
I guess I'm Small hand with I can tell you again, how that you amazing film in the grab. I guess here the floor is a king of the US in Gucha. I think we're fortunate to have a young and the need to have a king. I guess a car to see, sorry. I guess the floor is a king of the US in Gucha. Get the how great car. I've all that great to go to be the slower and the idea that was a king. Per ha in the Ich meine, ich kann nicht in Bacon gehen, aber ich kann nicht in den Kopf gehen, in der Mühle. Wenn man sich mit dem Wehr hier so schön kriegt, dann kann man sich mit dem Wehr kriegen. Kann man sich mit dem Wehr kriegen? Ja, sehr gut. Wir haben uns hier gekriegt. Ja, sehr gut. Wir haben uns hier gekriegt. Ja, sehr gut. Ja, sehr gut. So, wir haben uns hier gekriegt. Ich habe mich nicht mehr gekriegt, dass ich hier gekriegt habe. Tu ana kaisa de rushivishi chene meske imba. Vo va fan la puringo se kashak va va mi kajiana ye mi kajiana krimek ye mi kajiana kshin mara va. Och va me mi tuna kucha kada se huli ni se kat. Agis en ye gali ke va ver fat ke jo ver fat. Gali ke va kenya fat. Agis magor shorif kucha. Va va moran gali magor shorif nora va shin va va. Ona huli trik shin va de pring gali. Ach, maar hij schreef een school en je kan ik naar Peerte wat te brengen in zijn school, maar hij schreef wel een schreef. Oh, Peerle. Ja. Ze tijdt haar wel een wak en gaat op haar kool kan ik naar Peerte in zijn school. Ach, ze hebben een haar niet, als ze aan mijn tuk zijn dat ze een moeder aan het doen en dan kan ik haar Ach, ik wil geen van de vingen dat ze een steen wil, hoe je haar kan zijn en dan ga ik een lijn zeggen. Wel, ik ga het je wel, ik ga het je wel. Ach, ik ga het medium haar zo. Ha-kutsch-kutsch-kutsch-kutsch-kutsch-kutsch-kutsch-kutsch-kutsch-kutsch-kutsch-kutsch-kutsch-kutsch-kutsch-kutsch-kutsch-kutsch-kutsch-k
Angel Loch Reed is a via genicasha ictona script rua fashka to the vole, and a hen like a vanua sa somerset and sna shakatin. How many cows do you have to have for your production then? We have about 140 cattle. Right. What uh, kind are they? We started off with Frisians. Yeah. And then we bought some Holsteins, and the Holsteins just that were not up to this weather. This weather on Mull. Oh, oh. Um, so they've naturally died out. Yeah. We had Jerseys briefly. They're we, also a wee bit vulnerable, aren't they, to, to the they weather were, a wee they bit? Were, they were naughty. They used to find all the holes in the fences and oh. take all the hole. <laughs> but they're great characters. They're the great, characters, amazing artists. characters. And wonderful mirrors. Yes. Um, we then, we've moved on to, we've got brown Swiss, uh, Swedish red, Norwegian now, red. Now, I don't know any of those. But if you go out and see the cows, you'll see this amazing um, tiger kind of um, pigmentation, one. stripy really? cows, yeah. Ha hula shorts are can show. Fuse the task it big. The fiel lem parak it in a mech mo upper hashe. Shall it brand and go in? The milk comes in. Straight through the wall in the top left corner there, yeah. straight from the milking parlour. The milking parlour is just 50 feet outside that way. Yeah. So it comes in warm and raw, straight from the cows. The, we then warm, so it's all, that particular milk is already warm. Yep. And the natural, the bacteria, the flora of the milk is already still there, untouched. We add a little bit of starter. We use a third to a half the standard amount of starter. So we, we still have to add a, a proper starter culture to get it going. And we add the rennet, which, um, which coagulates the milk, yep. and you get that junket. Yes. And it's used proper rennet or vegetarian rennet? We use proper rennet. It's a, a lot better. Yes. Um, we do use vegetarian rennet on the, on the Hebridean blue cheese. Oh, right. And we have a lot of problems with it, with it setting. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So the, the longer mature cheese prefer the, the, the proper rennet is much better. You sometimes get taints and things coming through when you mature the cheese a long time. The, the animal rennet is the best rennet. It's, right. it's, it's also right. more um, consistent. Yeah, yeah. And so then that goes in there, does it? That's in, yes, the cheese fat up on the, on the tower over there. That's, so this cheese, this, that's just being cut, and those are blades turning, and we're now getting the curd in the whey. And the whey slowly separates out of the curd over the next couple of hours. Right. Those two and a half hours of being stirred and slightly warmed up. And just so to allow it to sort of develop. Yes, the, yeah. yeah, so... Um, and then in, a, in a two and a half hours, it will then run by gravity into the cheese cooler, where all the whey is a sieve in the bottom of there. Oh, I see, and then so that separates... It separates it out, gets pumped away, and we're left with a solid curd. Yeah. So the whey gets pumped away and gets fed to the pigs out of the back of the farm. The curd will then continue to cheddar. So this is the cheddaring stage now. Yeah. Um, and it just changes texture. It goes to get layered chicken breast kind of... Look about it, yes. Look about it. It rips apart kind of thing. It's all the time trying to set together. Um, and so then, is it put into the, the, these bucket-like things? All the curd is then broken apart. We have a peg mill. Uh, the, the, cheese, the curd goes through the peg mill and is ripped apart, and we get little lumps of curd, and we, we stir the salt in at that point, and then this sort of granular sort of texture curd, to it, then, yes. Well, it's poured into the moulds and where they're pressed, um, and then after half an hour, they come out, they get bumped out, turned again. Is that what they're doing at the moment? They're now they're taking out the finished cheese at the moment. Again, carried downstairs. The cheese store is below our feet in the cellar. And so it's all stored down there yeah. then for the next month. So all the cheese has to be carried downstairs um, and where it stays for the next six or seven months. Diamond's bandaging the cheeses. They're being scolded. And then so there's one lot that is going back into the press and another lot is coming out. Of the oh, I see. The lard and the linen make this breathable 
membrane for the cheese to be stored in protected layer. Biklas na shad bulach in a hashe nish, and hami tushing in sohir at the lem. Ha elenal nish guay na nyak eyalwang agus na kaart aikid in suros bulach. I mean, a clunging cavilia chenna came all of it, so I'm more rustic and drastic. How can we on a drocha chenichin? Oh, and a mohaber. I guess the mahed as a skidishin, hook a guess and return for heel. Oh, the ho. All right. Ach, for chillich mohaber, where it's in a mule, where a bunch in a sachkari mule. Gag me scullion glassahu, a hewn jig blinner ricket. I guess Hanik be a stuvulek and I'm shin. Hanik. How's it me if you walk like show again I'm shin? Why go my back? Why me chill like a copper? I wanna go shin go my back. Why do you bring back I'm I guess root no ga the hand tools. Do you fair no ga I'm I guess has made the hug thrown and thrown again. I shock us a studio car that night. Okay. Aha aha. In the shows the designs kept going. Me shin go as outfitting. The Berkeners on written Miro. Uh, how we vote at the Ounsner Designs Shin. So, how course the groom if he can use the hook? How course the groom if he can use the hook? Cucho Hikaman and Sue. Who we matter had show. Jenu Hope and Nagas Hash in the course the groom. Doch may have eaten the name, Mrs. Shin. I guess Cursona didn't she do it? Well, she copper a hounishin. Ah, nie. Be me fair, I can give it. I had a kid to my tanning girl. I got over the spatula, I guess, glens or I guess, cellier. I guess a gammon and hammy or son. What the king? I show angle, I show carcass, the root king, ha, show so organic, but a hard dashing. I guess Hanil Eric, Hanil Eric, the Janushin, Hanil a copper and son and I need to go, sir. Evil pen to good shop. Pai sgo fi pentag, agos fa ui fôr ag amwn y sioli yn. Fiws. Fa. So ha mi'n asbwt i chyn eich y fi tareng agos y pentag rwyt yna ha cael chi'r i ddoi beha. A roed. So ha mi'n eich i fi gobeir i'r nici yn. Oh, sio, sio. Mae'n gwrs dori. Sio. Awn y mwle. Agos stel ym na patron yn y hi yw awn y rôp i chyn. Agos na siawn rwyt yna fi. Rwyt na cynchach yn y hilach yn y sys. Sio. Ha, dyrch na'n lai a'n mwngwrst. Sio. E'n e'n mwle ha'n tŵr chi gwch dy crwach ar son dober, ac e'n 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 Ho, Arwen, yn siarad i'n meddwl o'ch ahawn. Hela dorydd y chwm ar grif i'ch ach mae'r o ydol yn yr arch i'ch yn ymwneud â sa'ha mwle. Ha dwlyd yn awn, Herin. Ac ys nŵr y hoes i'ch mi fai dyrf. Chyro mi eisiau clech ddyr i grif o'ch ys. Ac ys baish go o fi ferach gyn y gamen yn, you know, ha mi stuck sy'n ar tia sio. Y gopa y crwa i ffat na hwn. Ac ys gysori tia y gopa o'r lech te. Hwn nhw o'r gopa o'r lech te. Dda, dda. Ac ys charo to'r wy yn nhw tools ac am y gynnau am sy'n. Yn eich ha y môr yn nes as y go. Well, ha mi'r filwch. Ha coes dy grym gyfwr. Well, ni at y rwyt. Ni at y rwyt y siar na chi. Ha chi'n cael yn sy'n mal musical minds. Y chwyr yr fwn, dy gyrn yw yr efyl dy mensio Chinas Parkinson yw ha ffwl ein bwy strwg. Hen ik misio dan eist ach y gael yn yw'r yn y siar lwch y tre ach yn sy'n yw'r mwlwch. Ar chwys ar sgâr ŵfer y fa ffasgir y grŵ hi. My sister, 
um, came to live on Mull many years ago from America. At the age of 59, she started to forget things and gradually was diagnosed with dementia. Oh. But although I could see to her personal needs, on an island like this, there's only so many lunches you can have out and places yes. you can visit. And I felt that Pat needed more stimulation. At that time, Mary McAllister came into my life, God love her, and she suggested I take Pat to a group in Oban called Singing for the Brain. What a difference. She really? loved it. Really? She loved it. And what I found really odd was that Pat couldn't remember what had happened 10 minutes ago. Yeah. But she knew the words to every song, even without the music. Just come down from the idle sky, and I'm all very big, and I'm all full shy. The last is shout, and I go find God, oh, where's your truth? I'll ask you, took me to a wall, and it was slippery in the hall. And I was feared that I would fall, because I had the young man truth. Oh, that's a fine man. The Gunya, now the main charles had had beat beat her tallish as a do yellow communicator. She, she, I was a thing, my life. Do you him, she was in Dugan Lemex? I, I, she never teased checking at all. Oh, Phil, I had a fissak in the farm of 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 the about dementia, because Jericho Prune, I was Harofisic, Harokuna, Jim, Jim, you know, the Hoshi Shane, but Fisic, the Hula Fako, how well you look. Well, Ha mi ni se fa kal mule. Ha mule ho mo, ha mai mi ha re shet. Ha na tenge chira ho pla, ha gesu plu. Ho skutchkin zum ge bhor ga vi mo mera ha, na ro mi sho hene. Ha ges